You're watching what I'm doing right now. He's playing the guitar, so that's what I'm doing right now. Hi, cat. I can't decode it in my head. What are you decoding? He's talking about creating a radio, and they mentioned that AM stands for amplitude modulation, and I was like, oh, FM's frequency modulation. And so I'm looking this up, and it's like, so on AM, it looks more like a traditional waveform because the amplitude modulates and the frequency stays the same. It's just the amplitude changes. Okay. So it kind of looks like a waveform. But in frequency modulation, the amplitude is the same and it just, it like changes the frequency. So when you're but like dialing into 102.7, what are you dialing that, into? Well, so that's a different, I think. But that was also a cool thing that he's talking about is like if you just have an AM receiver, like you're gonna get a bunch of crazy noise and so you have to figure out how to tune it, which uses, the analogy he uses is like a kid on a swing, and if you like push at the right time, it accentuates his movement, and if you push at the wrong time, it just kind of, it doesn't help or it uh, cancels out some of the movement. It's basically a capacitor that's beating at the frequency that you're trying to receive so that signals that are in line with that frequency are amplified, which is cool, <laughs> but, I still don't get the how FM works. This is one of the prizes going out to a winner from the last Patreon live stream. It's a glass bottle thing that's got a giant Einstein sticker in it with uh, some special treats inside. It looks like maybe this lens has some some stuff in it, some dirt. I'm having a hard time figuring out if the, the spots I'm seeing are just on the camera screen or actually in the lens. What is that little handy bit? The what, this? Yeah. That's when you need to... Oh. Uh, I may have just revealed to everyone how often I've used a mop in my life. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah! Oh yeah! And now we gotta apply our somewhat responsible cleaning product, non-toxic plant-based method. Are you closer to Bernie Sanders? Ooh, internet. The live feed is coming through in like 18 pixel resolution. Look at the quality of that ABC News logo. That debate just ended and it seemed like uh, Chris Christie and Jeb Bush and uh, what's his name, Kasich, all had a pretty decent night. Uh, and Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio, who have kind of been looked at as the front runners going into this particular debate at least, um, I don't think they did as well. Well, we uh, have reached another important historic moment in Missoula history. A new restaurant has opened up, so we are on our way to test it out. Is that actually where we're going? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> we're going to Native Wings. Oh. They've also got pizza. How do you feel about the interior of this restaurant? It looks pretty standard. Lots of TVs, a couple of sports memorabilia type things. That says chick. I'm all about them boneless wings. They've got all these different kinds of sauces. This one says it was voted America's favorite sauce, but then down here they say by America we mean native grillin' wings. The wings have arrived. I just tried a medium. I think I like the Buffalo Wild Wings medium better than this medium. So far you do not look excited about your experience. I feel like the Honey Hot is a little bit too barbecue tasting. The honey mustard doesn't feel like it has enough flavor to it. It's super subtle. Mostly just tastes like a chicken nugget. The strawberry is interesting, but I feel like the strawberry flavor doesn't last very long. These aren't bad, but I feel like Buffalo Wild Wings has better wings. So Native Wings, I would say, is okay. 
I'd give it a, like a three out of five, I guess. Probably don't need to go back. To be fair, I said the exact same thing about Freddy's the first time we came to Freddy's, and now it's like one of my favorite places in Missoula. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you.